Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. Welcome to my new course View 3 Composition API. So you may be have wondering why this is View 3 Composition API. We have already a lot of videos regarding the View 3 and also we have a separate course regarding this View 3, right? So you may be having a doubt regarding this one. But if you try to observe our playlist, the previous playlist about the View 3 complete course, so that one is entirely on the options API. At the last I have given a brief introduction about this composition API. But here in this playlist or in this course, what I am trying to do is I will be trying to explain all the view 3 using the composition API. And also the in view 3, so the state management pattern also has been changed from view X to the PNIA. So we will be trying to implement the PNIA also in this one as a state management pattern. Whereas in our previous view 3 course, we have used the view X state management. So let's welcome to my new course. So hope you will understand about this one. So after this course and all those things, we'll try to learn more and more regarding the Angular and all those things. So now, okay. So that's that's a different matter. So let's welcome to this View Three Composition API. So before continuing, before creating the application and all those things, so let's have a brief introduction about this View Three. If you are new to this View Three and all those things, means you can go back and watch my previous playlist. That is View Three which is all involved in the options API. So that is also a valid one. It's not a <coughs> deprecated or anything. So that is also valid. And this one is also valid, but this is a new, a new code. So new one. A brief introduction about the view as you already know about the view. So view is a JavaScript framework for building the user interfaces. So this is the main thing. So what is the view? So if you, if you people having a doubt, what is a view JS and all the things? So Vue is also a JavaScript framework, just like the Angular and React. Vue is also a JavaScript framework and it is used for developing user interface. It builds on top of the standard HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Okay, So it builds on the top of standard HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And if you want to know more about this HTML, CSS and JavaScript for these things also, each one we have a separate playlist. You can go and check that those all things. And built on top of this standard HTML, CSS and JavaScript and provides a declarative and component based programming model. So here, these are the two things you need to understand. It provides a declarative and a component based programming model that helps you efficiently develop user interfaces, be they are simple or complex. So this is the main definition of this Vue.js. So it is used to develop the user interfaces using a declarative and a component based. So right now, all the JavaScript frameworks, Angular, React and Vue.js all are component based only. So just like that, Vue.js is also a component based programming model. So let's go to the next slide. So now in where, where, in which locations or in, which, in how many different ways we can use this view. So where this actually view is useful. So we can use the view in different ways. That is nothing but enhancing the static HTML without a build step. So if you are having a static website like HTML, which has home about services, contractors like this five pages or six pages website. So you can use the Vue.js without any problem there. So instead of using the jQuery or JavaScript and like that, we can also use the Vue.js there. And embedding as a web components on any web page. So web components here is a different thing. So web components means the, com the component or the thing element or template which you can use it in any HTML, whether it can be HTML page or any other framework or Vue.js or anything. So you will developing a you will be developing a component and using and that component can be used in any framework or any page whether it may be angular stencil.js or react or anything so you can use this web component so developing those type of web components Vue.js is also very much useful so we'll try to do these web components using angular elements so those are called as an angular elements in angular we'll try to do those course also we'll, we'll do it in the next thing and is also useful to develop a single page application SPA single page application means so the routing and all those things will be handled by the Vue.js only. And the last one is the server side rendering. It's a common called is an SSR. So what is this server side rendering? Server side rendering means you will be having the server side the HTML will be generated and you can be able to see. So which is useful for the what I can say is the SEO purpose. So these are the different ways which you can use it. Not only this one, you can also develop and desktop applications in Electron like Electron and all those things. And also you can use to develop mobile applications like Ionic View. So there are so many different ways. So out of this, I am trying to tell you the most common ways. Okay, fine. Let's move to the next one. So in most build tool enabled view projects, here 
I am trying to say about the build tool enable means so the projects which involves the tooling mechanism like webpack white roll up so like this so if anything is having a build tool mechanism view projects so we see view components using an html like file format called single file component so this is called as a single file. so the component so here we call it as an sfc so here sfc single file component so that means you will be having a single file and in that single file you will be writing the html css and also the javascript in a single file it's a combination of the html styling and also the javascript we'll try to see in our sessions but you need to understand that these are called as a single file component so in our building tool mechanism projects so we will be cre we will be creating a file component using a single file in that single file we will be writing the html css and also a javascript and those files will be abbreviated as a dot view so this is the com common thing so this is these are called as a single file component sfc so whenever you are reading the document whenever you are trying to read the documentation and if you came come over across this one sfc means it's a single file component so you need to understand this one so a view sfc so whenever i am referring as an sfc means you need to understand it's a single file component and most probably it will start with the dot view which has an html css and also javascript a view sfc as the name suggests encapsulates the components logic javascript template html and css in a single file sfc is a defining feature of view and it is the recommended way to write the view components if your use case is uses a build setup if your use case build setup means it's a build tooling mechanism if your use case is using means then this is the recommended way to use the to create the components and to write the view view code so you need to create a single file component which starts which ends with the dot view extension and in that one the logic the javascript html and css everything you will be writing in a single file so in the coming videos we will try to see about this sfc also so view components so now you understood about the vue.js and view component thing and all those things so now view components can be written in two different api styles that means in two different ways we can write the code one is an options api and another one is a composition api these are the two ways of writing the code two different ways of writing the code or otherwise writing a code in the component view component options api and composition api what is this options api and composition api first one is options api with options api we define a components logic using an object of options such as so we have a properties like data methods and mounted we have so many things like props computed these all the things are also we will having so just i am trying to explain you properties defined by options are exposed on in this inside functions so this so we will be using this in order to access the functions or the properties so like this if we want to use it we need to use this I will try to show you the difference between so I will be writing the options API and how we can convert it into the composition API also. I will show you, don't worry. So if you are unable to understand about this one, is don't worry. So I will show it in a practical manner. Which points to the component in composition API. With the composition API, we define a components logic using an imported API function. So we will be using all the imported thing. In SFCs, composition API is tightly used with the script setup. So I will try to tell you this one also script setup don't uh, confuse here so this is another way so now we understood that the logic or the Vue.js component code can be written in a two different ways so one is the options api and the another one is in composition api so which one we need to use so which is the better way recommended way to use it so the Vue.js also tells you the recommended way so just we'll try to analyze this one both api styles that means both way of writing are fully capable of covering common use cases they are different interfaces po powered by the exact same underlying system in fact the options api is implemented on the top of the composition api the options api in inbuilt it uses the composition api the fundamental concepts and knowledge about view are shared across the two styles the options api is centered around the concept of a component instance this which typically aligns better with a class-based model for users coming from the oop language backgrounds options api so the oop language background people who are coming so they'll be able to understand very easily why because we'll be using a lot of the times the component instance using the this property and the composition api is centered around the declarative reactive state variables directly in the function scope it is more free from 
and also requires an understanding how, how reactive works in the view to be used effectively in return its flexibility enables more powerful patterns for organizing the and reusing the logic so if you want to use the reusable logic and if you want to implement the different types of patterns means composition api is better suited for us that is the main thing which i want to explain you so which one you need to learn if you are new to view so you are the this is the first time if you are new to view means go with the style that looks easier to understand by you so whichever is easily understand by you you can write the code in that way and you can always use the style letter so you can also write the other style afterwards also and you can have a two components with the different styles also you can use it it's not a problem for production use so if you are using for a production environment means go with the options api if you are not using the build tools like webpack or rollup or anything or plan to use view primarily in a low complexity so if you are javascript and all those things are not uh, that much of primarily focused means you can use the options api something like a progressive enhancement go with the composition api with single file components if you are planning to build full applications with the view if you are trying to build a full rich uh, rich, rich application something like that user interface applications then you can go with the composition api and with a single file components so this is the brief introduction of the vue.js composition api so in the next video we will try to install the vue.js or in create a pro new project and we will try to see the four concepts what are involved in what are involved in the vue.js 3 with the composition api and we'll try to see how we can implement using the composition api and also with the options api hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video i will try to give the reply and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you